This new studio called after Sister Ana Maria Maruja, who worked for 15 years in the parish of Holy Rosary and San Juan Bosco in Portchester, New York. So about seven years ago, I was meeting with Sister Maruja, who was the pastoral associate here in the parish. And we were talking about introducing to the parish the Pope's apostolic letter on marriage. We were trying to figure a way to do this, and we thought of having a YouTube channel for the parish. And so we had the first YouTube channel, and we ran the talks with a little telephone each evening. And this was the beginning of the idea of trying to, to reach out. But Sister Maruja always was a great sister. She was a Franciscan sister of the atonement. She had a real heart for evangelization. And in fact, one of my favorite pictures of her is the picture that we have right here in the studio because she is there opening the doors of the church. And this was always her idea. The more people we can get to come into the church, the better it would be. About a couple of months ago, some of our parishioners, those actually who are working the cameras right now, came and were talking to me and they said, Father, we have all of this equipment. We need a studio. Well, in my mind, immediately I was thinking of Sister and her great love for evangelizing any way possible. And so I did not say anything to them in the moment. I wanted to make sure that we had the proper space. And once we got the proper space set up, then I said to them, we have a studio, a room ready for a studio. When it came time to name the studio, then we said, well, it had to be named if the sister was the inspiration for so much evangelization in the parish. This was her great desire. She had a, a heart filled with zeal to bring others to Christ. And this is the reason why we named the studio after her and dedicated the studio to her. Siempre he visto ¿no? que la televisión secular tiene mucho poder, tiene mucha fuerza para entrar a los hogares de nuestras familias y qué ven nuestras familias, de qué se alimentan. Y muchas veces yo decía, ¿por qué la Iglesia Católica no, no puede evangelizar a través de la radio, a través de la televisión? ¿Por qué no tienen los recursos? Pero siempre uno dice, ¿por qué no lo hacen? Pero llegó un momento que dije, ¿por qué no iniciamos nosotros? ¿no? Y ya que nosotros evangelizamos a través de retiros, de conciertos, de hora santa, a través del teatro, ¿no? ¿Por qué no evangelizar también ahora, más que nada, por las redes sociales, no? Y justo en la pandemia nos tocó evangelizar a través de Zoom, a través de Facebook, a través de YouTube. Y eso alimentó más como que es el momento ahora de presentar este proyecto al Padre Pat. Un día vinimos, hablamos con él y le planteamos la idea, no dijo nada. Pasó un año, pensamos que ya se le había olvidado y eh, los tiempos del Señor siempre son perfectos. En las redes sociales tenemos toda esa libertad de poder evangelizar, de poder llevar la buena nueva a donde sea, ¿no? A través del YouTube, al Facebook, Instagram, de todo, todo lo que hay, ¿no? Así que de ahí salió esta, esta idea de poder evangelizar a través de esto y aquí está, se ha hecho una realidad todo a su momento. 